Why 2020 is a leap year? If there were no leap years, eventually February would be a summer month, for the Northern Hemisphere, 2019 isn't a leap year, but 2020 will be. The last leap year was 2016, and the next one is 2020. Leap days are extra days added to the calendar to help synchronize it with Earth's orbit around the Sun and the actual passing of the seasons. Blame Earth's orbit around the Sun, which takes approximately 365.25 days. It's 0.25. That creates the need for a leap year every four years. The calendar doesn't take into account the extra quarter of a day, actually required by Earth to complete, a single orbit around the Sun. In essence, the calendar year, which is a human artifact, is faster than the actual solar year. Our year is defined by our planet's motion through space. Over time and without correction, the calendar year would drift away from the solar year, and the drift would add up quickly. For example, without correction the calendar year would be off by about one day after four years. It'd be off by about 25 days after 100 years. You can see that, if even more time were to pass without the leap year as a calendar correction, eventually February would be a summer month in the Northern Hemisphere. During leap years, a leap day is added to the calendar. To slow down and synchronize the calendar year with the seasons. Notice that 2000 was a leap year, because it is divisible by 400. But that 1900 was not a leap year. 2019 isn't a leap year, because it isn't evenly divisible by 4. The next leap day will be added to the calendar on February 29, 2020. So friends, now you must have a better understood that why this occur. Hope you have learned something new from this video. If you like the information, you can share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, and press the bell icon for latest updates, thank you.